I'm Matt Strong from MetsBlog.com and SOI.TV, and I'm here today to catch a ride to the ballpark with John Neese. Ready to rock, baby. Here we go. So it's one o'clock. You have a night game at seven. Is this this is usually when you take off? This is right when I take off. Usually one o'clock. Um, kind of. I have to leave pretty early because you never know in New York the traffic. <laughs> right. But uh, yeah, I, I usually want to get get to the stadium around 1:30 and play cards. Really? Yeah. First order of business. First order of business. <laughs> we got to get that out of the way. Today you're not pitching, so. Right. You know, it it kind of depends. Problem. Yeah, it depends on on what the day is. I mean, if if it's the day I start, obviously I wouldn't get there until. Um, usually I wouldn't leave my apartment till three three thirty, so I can get there at four. Routine is such a big deal for you guys. Like, do you feel that way? It is. It is. And I think this this month, look at this guy. It's crazy. <laughs> Motorcycles think they can do whatever they want. Yeah, I always say I don't have a problem with motorcycles. It's the motorcycle drivers. Yeah. That yeah. make me yeah, uneasy. Yeah, motorcycles are cool. <laughs> so it's New York. You grew up in in Ohio. What's what's it like? You know, coming here, playing in the big city. You know, dealing with stuff like this. It's a lot different. Obviously, the traffic here is a lot different. Right. Everybody's slamming on their brakes, see, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. And I guess we're stuck in traffic now already. <laughs> what other uh, professional sports do you watch? Well, I'm just now starting to watch hockey. I love huh. hockey. My, my fiance, her family's big into hockey. Her brother is a really good hockey player. You know, there's these other sports. Do you watch them through those eyes or do you watch them through the eyes of like, like a fan, the way we watch you guys. Like you don't necessarily play hockey, you don't play football, but when you watch those games, if you're if you're a Rangers fan, you know, or like David's a huge Giants fan, like are you watching it through the fans' eyes or are you watching it through the professional athlete's eyes? I'm watching it through the professional athlete's side huh. because the fans, it, it, it's kind of, it's different because the fans, they, um, I don't know, they, they just, I don't think they they know like the insides of, of, of what goes on and and but uh, but it, it, every sport I mean it's really hard it, you know as professionals because the guys who you're playing against are are also that's their that's their living. So fiance, when when did you uh, when did you propose? I actually proposed last All-Star break. Wow. How'd you do it? And we went to the Bahamas, and uh, we went swimming with dolphins. And wow. Yeah, I, me and my buddy uh, from Florida, Scotty J, he, we set it up, and uh, they gave us like a little little buoy. It's like made out of PVC pipe, and the trainer gave the buoy to the dolphin, and the dolphin swam directly to me and gave it to me. And I don't know how the dolphin knew to come to me, but he did. So I took the buoy out, pulled out the sign, and said, will you marry me? <laughs> and, and the whole wow. time going through my mind was I was worried I was going to pull out the sign and I'd pull it out and it'd be upside down yeah, or right. something. <laughs> wow, that's actually, I'd, yeah, I'd be more worried that the dolphin was going to swim off at the river. Oh, yeah, yeah, and then never swim to me. And then, right. Wow. Then my, then my well, There's no way she saw that coming. No. Zero no, chance. she was. Yeah. She was totally surprised. That's cool. that, that's was, good. that was a good Yeah, that's the most important. But yeah, if the dolphin would swam <laughs> off and then I'd been like, she'd be like, what's going on here? What? Huh. Like, uh, that's crazy. So what uh, some of the other, you know, favorite movies, favorite music? I know we talked a little my about favorite, country music. My favorite, well, yeah, country music. We should blare it, turn it up. The new country is really good. Let me over. But yeah, I just love I love country music. When you're driving into the park, how often there it is. are you reminded of what you do for a living? Does it, is at this point you just kind of <laughs> take for take it for granted? And I don't mean that in a bad way. No, I, I I never take it for granted. And usually I'm about at this point right here when I get on this highway mm -hmm. that I look at it all the time. And I, it, it's crazy. I do look at it all the time, and it's just like wow. It, I, I play in a big league stadium. Right. It's crazy to think about, but, 
but it, it does, it, it does hit me every day, every time I drive by it. My dad, ever since I could swing a bat or throw a ball, has always put me in the right position to, to, uh, to face the, the toughest competition. <laughs> and I think that's, that's real important. And, you know, when you face the, the toughest competition around and, and you, uh, then you start having success and then you can start believing in yourself. And, uh, but that's, that's so important. But yeah, my dad had a lot to do with it. He always, he always put me, what's, well, this, what's this car doing? I'm trying to pass me, I'm turning. But yeah, he, he always put me in the right situation and I'm so thankful of that. Give it a sign spot? Yeah, I usually. Just like spring training where they got the. I usually park right here, but man, he always parks there for some Oh, reason. so they're not assigned, you, okay. No, I, I always park in the second one and I always back in. I hit David's car right here. Maybe not. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> and that's that. And we are here. Cool. Thanks for the ride. You're welcome. Thanks for driving with me. Thanks.